We're at our second day at SEMA right now. Today, I'm going to be going around and showing you all of the coolest Mustangs that they have here. I'm Aiden, you're watching God Next. Here we have a black 67 GT500, and if you can't hear behind us right now, there's a bunch of S650 Mustangs from RTR drifting around, but they don't have this one on the track. This is that black 67 GT500. Looks great, though. All right, right here is a 1970 Boss 429 Mustang, one of the rarest ones ever made. And right here, of course, we have the newest generation Shelby GT500, of course, powered by the supercharged 5.2 liter V8, 760 horsepower. And this one is Lexani's, and it has Lexani tires on it and everything like that. It's good to see that they brought this today. It's really cool. Love the paint spec. All right, now my favorite generation of Mustang GT500 has got to be this one. This is a 1967, except it's not just a normal GT500. This one is an electric resto mod where they took this GT500 fastback and they transformed it into an electric powertrain. E, I think the model designation for it was E1100R. I'm assuming that means 1100 horsepower, but this thing looks absolutely insane on the outside. It's got new headlights and everything like that. And I'm so surprised to see people actually taking these classics and sticking electric powertrains in them. It is a really cool looking car regardless. Still wish it had the V8 though. This is a 1969 Ford Mustang. Instead of it using its classic powertrain, this one actually has a five liter Coyote V8 in it, and it is supercharged with the Roush supercharger and has a six speed manual. So it's basically a resto mod for the entire powertrain. And of course, other modifications, it's been lowered, aluminum pieces on the outside, but really cool to see this. It may not look like it, but this is an S197 2012 Mustang Boss 302, but it's got a 1969 rear end, 1970 front end on it. It looks really cool. I looked at the interior, I was really surprised, but it's nice to see someone took a 2012 Mustang and gave it a whole new body. Now, this Mustang is really interesting because under the hood is the 5.2 liter Voodoo engine instead of a normal one. So, really cool looking. Now, this is a 1966 Shelby GT350. The interesting thing about this one is that this one actually has the supercharger option on it, which means there was only 11 examples of these made back in 1966, 289cc block, and it has a supercharger making 440 horsepower. Absolutely insane and super rare. Now this is B is for build Mustang GT right here. It's a 2017 Mustang GT under the hood and into the interior, but on the outside, it is a 1967 basically body that they've stuck onto it. It looks really cool. It's a great way to really show this body off because I love the look of this, but still keep the modern components and the modern powertrain. Now here's an S650 Mustang. These just came out for 2024 and this wrap is sick. It's like this purplish, blackish, grayish, satin matte wrap that they have on it with uh, all the black accents. They also have these variant alloy rims which are in this bronze color that I really like. Doesn't look like much is done to it other than that it's been lowered by about a couple inches. But other than that, it's a great looking Mustang GT.